Hello and a warm welcome to this wonderful venue on the outskirts of Amsterdam, the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's the Netherlands and they take on Spain. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Stefan de Vrij in central defence. Jorginho Wijnaldum starts alongside Frenkie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today is Memphis. Here's the lineup for Spain. Sergi Roberto plays with Marcos Alonso in the fullback positions. Coque starts with Rodri in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the match begins. Pie. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Sergio Busquets. Torres. Moving into the advanced position. Oh, borderline offside, but correct. Pie. It's with Berghaus. And players waiting in the centre. Not the best clearance. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Sergio Roberto. Sergio Busquets. And take it away. Moving it forward. And possibilities here. Can they stop it going in? Well, that's the end of that for now. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Ferran Torres. Really well played pass. Okay. And no worries for the goalkeeper. Wijnaldum. It's with Berghaus. And space to cross it. Can he find the net? Well, flinging himself at it. Now well, following on from the previous incident, he sees yellow now.
So the corner played into the box. It might be on for them. Van Dijk with it. And excellent goalkeeping. Well, it is good goalkeeping, but the finish wasn't really good enough, was it? De Jong. It's a good-looking ball in behind. And a goal it is! But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. Sergio Roberto. Sergio Busquets. On to Sergio Roberto. Now Busquets. Plenty of options. Options in the centre. It's been whipped towards the near post. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Really getting stuck in. Sergio Busquets. And Torres on the ball. Rodri. Superb block. Has a go. Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. De Jong gives it a go. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, certainly part of the story in the first half, the performance of Rodri. What did you make of it? Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Koke. Eric Garcia. Ball's gone. See some progress with the ball at his feet. Head over towards the back post. Ah, goalkeeper's ball. Not the best of crosses, really, was it? Depay, and here's Wijnaldum, De Jong, this could square the game, and the ball is loose. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. Well, as you can see from those stats, their creativity has been really good. They've dominated play at times. They've got the ball into the final third with great ability. But when they've got it there, the finishing just hasn't been good enough. And that's been their problem. And they continue to advance. 
And a lot of options here. Busquets. And very adept at holding the ball up in this manner. Oh, could be. And a goal. They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So a personnel change then. So 2-0 now. An awful lot of green space to run into. Wijnaldum waiting. And scope for them to produce something exciting. showing excellent judgment to intercept and the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack well it's amazing how fans can be so blinkered with their views they're going mad here Alonso no spillage from the goalkeeper routine Well, this is not ideal for him. He was booked earlier. And the referee has shown him a second yellow card. That will be it for him. Well, his manager will be absolutely furious. He had to be more careful there. Okay, And that was a free kick hit with genuine authority. Well, you have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been on target, the keeper might have had a problem. Inside the final 15 minutes. Blinks. Dangerous looking attack. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Morata. In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. De Jong. Difficult to stop him. But quick thing. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation?
And they're making a change. Great technique and accuracy, but the keeper able to turn it away. A stunning stop. So the corner played into the box. And really tried to blast that one past the keeper, but his radar was a bit off. And a substitution in the offing. Morata. Sarabia. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. And short it is. Nothing comes of it. Takes the shot. Couldn't quite hang on. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. But well, he does play with real authority, Alvaro Morata. Your thoughts on the Spaniard and what he did in this game? Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.